video, I'm going to be sharing with you a multi-cell change automation that can save you and your project teams a considerable amount of time and prevent a lot of manual work. Now, when I say multi-cell change automation, what I'm referring to is you can set up an automation whereby if a particular text is entered into a cell in a particular column that you specify, other cells in other columns update. So for the purpose of this demo, what I'm going to be showcasing to you is that when 100% is entered into the completion column against a task in this task list, the status automatically changes to completed. And I'm also going to show you how we can set it up so that the closeout project also updates to yes. So there are multiple cell changes of the back of one change. So uh, this is going to, how you set this up will depend on your specific needs, the sheets you're using, etc. But it's a really handy automation that I just wanted to share with you. I use it in my organization really extensively. So this is how you set it up. So first click automation. Then you want to create from scratch. At this point, I recommend giving it a name. So um, I'm going to call this completion automation, completion column automation workflow. Now, the reason why you want to give it a name is that it will help you further down the line understand what the automation is, especially if you're using a lot of automations, and it may give you the impetus to deactivate or even delete it. So the trigger is going to be when rows are added or changed. We want both of those, but you could use one of these if you wanted to, one of these triggers. There's lots available. Now, for this demo, what we want is when the completion percentage changes to 100%, if it's not in there already as a, as a drop down, you can just type it. So as an example, if I put 75% and you just press add new, even though it's not in the underlying sheet, you can add it if that makes sense. So when the completion percentage changes to 100%, run the workflow when triggered. Now, when it comes to select an action, what we want is change cell value. So we want to change the cell value in status to completed. Now hit save. Now what you can do at this point, which is really, really handy, is you can click these little buttons here and you can go test now. Now I'm going to trigger this on the entire sheet as I only have one row in the sheet, but you could do it on specific rows if you wanted to. So let's hit run workflow and we've got this success message. Press OK. I'm going to go back to the sheet and there you see it's come through as completed. Perfect. So that's with one condition. But as I said, we could set it up so that this updates as well. So let me add a new row just for this. So run um, multi automation. I'll just call it that for now. And let's just, I'm just going to copy this here. Lovely. And let's put this at 100% because that's what we need in that field. So automation manage workflows, edit. Now here is where you add the second change. So specify another change. When status is completed, add another column, close out project. Yes. Hit save. And let's test now. Go back. And then sometimes you do need to hit refresh. I haven't had to this time, completed and yes. And you see that has come through. The blue highlights the changes that have happened. One thing I will mention is that sometimes when you set up an automation, it can take a little bit of time to kick in. You might even need to refresh. Sometimes you might even have to add a new row at the bottom, as I say, for it to kick in on the other rows that you've already set up. But hopefully this multi-cell change automation helps you and your teams. If you have any questions, comments, feedback on this automation, on other automations or in Smartsheet in general, drop them down below. And with that said, best of luck over to you and I hope you have an excellent day.